Hello, I'm Dale Leftwich with Real Agriculture. Today I'm with Jim Carr, who's on the last leg of a tour. He is the International Trade uh, Diversification Minister. How are you doing today, Jim? Hi, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, this is a, a really interesting time to have a conversation with what's happening primarily around uh, Canada and China and our and the relationships. Do you have a few words about that? We're going through a difficult period in a relationship that dates back many decades. It's a difficult time because we're deeply concerned about the detention of Canadian citizens in China without due process. And we will work through it. There are still many business people moving back and forth between these two nations. We understand how important an economic player China is. Canada is leading a group of nations to reform the World Trade Organization. And we know ultimately China will have to be a part of that process. I have been involved in important conversations with leadership within the Chinese government about these reforms. But it's a tough time in this relationship. But I'm confident that we will work through it. But meanwhile, there are tensions and there are pressures. And we believe that with some goodwill and some due diligence and some patience, we'll get through it. It's not always easy uh, to be patient at a time like this. Uh, but we're interested in a good result and working very hard to achieve it. So there's a lot of concern that uh, the, the what's going on between Canada and China at this point is not entirely uh, about trade. What kind of things can you do to make sure that concerns that are raised really are in the area of trade and can be solved? We see this as a science-based issue uh, that we hope can be solved at the officials level. Uh, the Chinese say that shipments of canola from Canada are not pure. We say, show us, so that we can have a science-based conversation. It's not the first time that we have had issues over the quality of Canadian canola, and we've worked through them. So both through the Canadian Embassy in Beijing and the Chinese Embassy in Ottawa, at the officials' level, we are trying to get a handle on the nature of the complaint with this very high-grade canola. And as soon as we are able to see what the issue is, then we can begin to solve it. We know that there is urgency, and we hope to get to the bottom of it soon. You have people in China working on this. What kind of uh, at the official level? Official, what kind of what kind of work is actually being done at the official level in China to make sure that that this trade relationship stays solid? Well, we're pressing Chinese officials to show us samples of the canola that would indicate there's a problem. So far, that has not materialized. Right, and so there's, you don't have any indication what the actual pest is. We don't, we don't seem to be getting any, any idea. No. So that's a, a no. That's a no. Okay. Uh, One more. One more question. That is that uh, you're still working on a bilateral trade uh, mission with, uh, with uh, bilateral trade relations with China. That's ongoing. We uh, want to have continuing conversations with the Chinese government about broadening and deepening the trading relationship between these two countries. China, China is the second largest economy in the world. Uh, we believe that there's lots of potential for Canada and China, and we want that relationship to continue and to grow. Okay, thanks very much, Jim. Yeah. Yeah.